So we do have a leap of faith. We do have a brand new beginning. Someone's coming towards you with a leap of faith. This is someone who wants to take a risk. Someone who wants to start from ground zero. Ready to take a risk with you or ready to take a risk towards you, okay? This person could be someone who is holding back. Someone who was uh, not sure about a future with you or they weren't sure. It was almost like someone who thought you were a risk, okay? But someone who had trust issues also is what I'm getting. But now they're ready to come out of that and they're ready to take a risk. Someone's coming in with an apology is what I'm getting. In the past, maybe you were looking for a balanced relationship. Maybe it was a one-sided situation, anything, all right? But there could be someone either who was giving to two people or this is what you wanted. You wanted a balanced relationship in the past here. Maybe things didn't work out, you were getting the bare minimum or you weren't getting the attention that you deserved or the love and attention that you deserve, right? I'm getting you guys could have split, breakup, separation, but they're coming in with an apology. Someone's coming in with some emotional communication and it could be very well about wanting a new leap of faith, wanting a new beginning with you. Yeah. We do see in the near future that there's some kind of heartbreak, emotional pain, sorrow, grief. We'll see that, right? How you see yourself, Queen of Pentacles. You're very focused on your work, career goals. But I think you're looking for something very stable, something very committed. You're being very practical right now. Your approach is being very practical. You want to keep the emotions on the side. Uh, could be with this person, okay? But again, I'm seeing someone you're dealing with who's emotionally very, very immature. Someone who's not really the best at expressing themselves emotionally. They anyways, they, they have a hard time opening up emotionally. But yeah, you're expecting something very committed or you're expecting an equal give and take from someone you could be having a huge age difference with. If not an age difference, this is definitely a maturity difference, energetic difference. But they're still coming in with that page of cups here. This person who you have in mind, who you want, I mean, who's wanting to come towards you, right? They're very confused. This person could be having a lot of choices. They could have kept their options open or they're just very confused about their approach towards you. They're just confused or they just have too much on their plate. I'm getting more confusion. Anything. You're just looking for clarity with Ace of Swords here. It's just funny that you're expecting something committed or something stable from someone very immature, okay? I mean, their energies towards you, it's not even like a King of Cups or like a King of Pentacles, whereas you're showing up as a Queen of Pentacles, you know? It's just saying. You're looking for a breakthrough. Okay, this is in your emotions. You're looking for mental clarity. You're looking for a breakthrough. You just want to clear the air. You just want to cut out. You just want to cut through the bullshit, okay? And right now, I don't even think you're, you're focused on this person. Law of attraction, right? You don't care. You're focused on you. That's when they're coming in. That's why you're attracting them because you realize your self-worth. You realize your value. Anyways, with the Nine of Cups, you have a wish fulfillment, right? So, <laughs> doesn't matter, right? Let's see. What is this fool? Why is this here? For the overall energy for cancer. What is the fool here? Yeah, five of cups. Someone's coming in because there's been a lot of disappointment. There could be a lot of disappointment around this person, right? Whoever wanted to take... You know what? I'm getting two things. Either there was a lot of disappointment in the situation, okay? Or you could be dealing with someone who had a lot of um, issues in the past, okay? They could have dealt with the situation in the past where there was a lot of disappointment. They could have been moving on from a very painful breakup or whoever's coming in towards you, right? This could be someone who you've already been very disappointed in the past with. Things just didn't go the way things went south and it just didn't go the way you expected it to. What is the five of cups? Three of pentacles, yeah. All you wanted was equal give and take. All you wanted was a partnership. You just wanted to build with this person towards something stable. But I think there was a lack of effort from this person, lack of commitment, lack of investment of anything, okay? You just wanted to build with them. You wanted something stable. But it was, it turned out to be very disappointing. You know, I have a fool here again. Okay, so you're definitely dealing with someone who does not like to be tied down. Someone who does not deal with commitments, okay? This is someone who's a commitment for, but someone who likes to be free. They like to go with the flow, okay? And you're someone who's like, no, no, no. There is no going with the flow, okay? Dead fish, go with the flow. You give me what I want. And I what I want is security. I want stability. Because that's what you're offering and that's what you bring to the table. And for you, it's like, you know what? I know when to get up. If When there is no more, um, when love is not served, you know when to get up. Something like that, right? 
What is the six of pentacles in the past? What was the six of pentacles in the past? seven of pentacles from the six you went to the seven in the past so yeah there was a lack of equal give and take okay someone is giving you the bare minimum or not giving you something that you deserve something that they owed you okay which put you in a spot of where you were still quite invested but it put you in a spot of re-evaluating the entire situation whether you still want to continue investing because you didn't see the fruits of your labor you didn't see things coming into fruition you could have waited and waited for things to come into fruition you could have waited for something to literally grow from the seven you probably wanted a ten okay but it stopped on the seven is what i'm getting only because either someone had their options open or there was just a lot of wishful thinking a lot of illusions what is the seven of pentacles two of wands there was someone who didn't make a decision and kept you at a crossroads or this could be you wanted to make a decision i'm getting that you invested but you didn't get anything back there was a lack of reciprocity and there was someone who kept you stuck and stagnant okay someone who just refused to make a decision someone who chose to be in their comfort zone either this person had fear of change or fear of making the wrong decision and they like to stay in their comfort zone so they stuck to choices where uh, they didn't have to, you know, make huge changes to be with you. What is the page of cups in the current situation? Yep, 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 yep. Six of cups, reconciliation, someone, your ex is coming back. This is someone from the past who you had good memories with. Strong, strong, strong soul tie connection, soulmate connection. Could be a significant difference between you guys, age, religion, place, the way you guys were brought out, anything. But yeah, they're coming in. They want this reconciliation with the king of pentacles. Yeah, this is someone who's definitely wanting to move towards you with something solid, something committed. This person is probably ready for a commitment. We have the king and the queen here. This is now a true pair situation. But I don't see this still in the spread. So I feel there's still some time before that comes into fruition, okay? What is the six of cups? This person is very, is missing you a lot, and you expect communication, Cancer. What is the six of cups? <laughs> All right, I am so forced to say this. Yep, they're coming in with commitment now. I have this on the spread. I don't know why I keep having the seven of cups here. Maybe this person has a lot on the plate, or maybe this person is very confused about what is the best approach. Maybe it's been a long time, you know, before this person makes a decision. Maybe you've already had an entire, you you made your own life. You've completely forgotten this person, or you don't even expect this person to come in. Because you're focused on yourself. This person could have taken a very long time to come towards you, but they're coming in correct. That's for sure. That's a true pair situation. Finally coming in to offer you something committed, right? The king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, that's like merit, right? Yeah, they're coming in to offer you something that you always wanted. But I don't know if you're going to accept it because, I don't know, you look like more like, I don't know, let's see. Why the three of swords in the near future? The star and ace of wands. I'm getting there could be someone here, okay, who's probably uh, wanting to release the pain in the near future, okay, someone wants forgiveness, okay, and it's going to be like a wish come true because with the Ace of Wands, there's someone who's coming in, they want to release the pain, they want to get over the breakup and they want to, they're still holding on to you. Someone wants forgiveness is what I'm getting, okay? And maybe with the star here, it is your wish fulfillment that this person comes in, right? They're coming in now, right? You have a brand new beginning in the near future. Definitely. Someone wants a clean sleep with you. But yeah, with the three of swords, yeah, definitely see this as someone who um, uh, could be having a lot of negative self-talk. Okay, or you could be doing a negative, lot of negative self-talk. But what I'm getting more is that there's someone here who's wanted to heal the situation between you guys. They want to heal this connection. They want a reconciliation with a star. This person wants to heal. They want a new beginning with you. Okay, like complete, like a, like a clean slate. Stuck from ground zero with a fool here, ace of wands here. The very there's a lot of passion, there's a lot of enthusiasm to approach you. There's a lot of um, the very attracted to you, like I said, right? But yeah, this person wants to reconcile. 
Queen of Pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah, you ghosted this person or this person could have ghosted you. There could be a lot of people involved between you, between you guys. If not, I just feel that this person probably was not on the same page. I mean, we already know that, right? You guys were probably not on the same page. <sighs> Conflicts, disagreements. Okay, a lot of tension between you guys, okay? But I think you chose to take out, take some time off. You chose to shut this person or you could have iced them out, okay? This is someone in quarantine, basically. Like, you completely quarantine your your energies you quarantine your mind and you chose to focus on yourself i don't even think you're talking to this person or wanting to make a move towards this person because you are doing a lot of self-introspection a lot of what when where how why what went wrong do i really want this what i want to do next okay but why you're in this hermit energy right i think what you're doing is wanting to take some time out giving yourself a break from this entire situation from this situation from this person and you're wanting to move forward with the six of wands you're you're very determined on moving forward okay you could be in the public light too maybe you're getting a lot of appreciation getting rewarded for your hard work for your hard work at work anything but yeah what is the hermit why the hermit yeah all of cups because there's a lot of disappointment around the situation with this person this guy broke your heart this girl or guy whoever sorry this person broke your heart with the three of swords you yeah. a heart like i mean someone cut you through deep you're hurting bad because you were very disappointed. There was a situation where there was a lot of discontentment. Like that feeling of being feeling feeling complacent. You could be even feeling rejected by this person. Okay, Maybe you offered this person commitment. Maybe you wanted commitment with this person. But this person rejected that. Okay, And they refused to make a decision in the past. Okay, And it kept you to a spot of whether you still wanted to invest. They kept you waiting. Stuck and stagnant. Okay. And that's one of the reasons why you completely chose to shut yourself off from this person. You're thinking very logically right now, shutting off your emotions. What is the Seven of Cups? This person's stressing the shit out, okay? Like I said, this person does not have their options open. They're just stressing the shit out. You're on their mind on a constant basis, okay? With the moon here, this person's going through a lot of stress, fear, anxiety. This person has like a lot of emotions from you, but they're all in the dark. They're all covered up, okay? It's all hidden emotions right now. They haven't been able to reveal. They haven't been able to come out in the open with the truth. They want to. But they're thinking a lot. I'm getting a lot of remorse and regret about what happened in the past. They regret not opening up. They regret not talking about it. They regret not giving you clarity or not coming towards you. More than anything, more than stress, anxiety, I'm getting a lot of overthinking, overanalyzing. Maybe there was someone who over, overthinks and overanalyzes. The Seven of Cups is also a lot of confusion. But I feel this person has a lot of regret about what happened in the past. And they can't get over it. Sleepless nights. What is the Nine of Swords? Queen of Cups. Because they know that they love you so much. And they know that you love them so much. This person has a lot of love for you for sure. With the lovers here, this person looks at you as the twin flame. You have the Six of Cups and you also have the um, lovers here. This is the card of I love you, I want you. This person is now uh, woken up to this connection. Okay, They realize that there is a strong soul tie connection that they can't break. They cannot forget you. They want you. They've realized this. It could have taken for you to get like a tower moment, which I did see at the bottom of the deck. It could have you could have had to walk away from this person in disappointment. I feel there was like a very long break between you guys, okay? A long break or just no communication between you guys. Because that's what's on your mind with the Ace of Swords here. That's what your hopes are. What is the Ace of Swords? You just want clarity. What is the Ace of Swords? See? You, want, you just want to move forward with the Wheel of Fortune. It's like, you know what? Either you're waiting for closure or... You're just waiting to come out of this moon energy because there is a lot of unknown energy around it. It's like you have no clue about what's happening. Like I said, again and again, I'm getting you guys could not have been in communication for a very long time. Minimal communication or there is just a lot of miscommunication, misinformation or someone was, um, um, you know, like purposely keeping 
the truth from coming out to the surface or someone who is holding a lot of information from you okay but with the wheel of fortune all you want is in your emotions is you want to move forward what is this wheel of fortune this is a very destined fated connection okay or oh, that's just how you feel what is the wheel of fortune it's something meant to be you feel this connection is meant to be and that's why you just want clarity what is the wheel of fortune yeah but then see there's so much tension between you guys maybe that's what you want to clear out you want to clear out the tension between you guys. I'm getting either you want closure so that you can move forward. But the problem here is with the five of wands. So you guys are just not on the same page. Or there's just a lot of um, difference of opinion. Okay. Maybe every time you guys come together and talk, there's too much drama. There's too much chaos. And it's just this issue where you guys are just not being able to come together. Contradictory beliefs. Okay. Or it could also mean that, you know, you just want this person to stand up. Five of wands. Five is also strive, right? It's fighting for what you want. Maybe you just want this person to step up. You want this person to give you clarity and you want to move things forward with this person. See, eight of wands. You want things to move forward. Or the other way I'm looking at it is with the wheel of fortune and eight of wands, you're, you're ready to release this person, okay? But once you get the closure, once you get the clarity, because there is a lot of chaos and you guys are just don't, you guys just don't seem to get along, okay? Whatever story fits you best. But I feel... You're waiting for this person to come in with clarity. You're waiting for this person to come in and give you that truth. You want candid communication. You want to cut the cut through the bullshit. And you want this person to fight for you. What is the Nine of Cups? Why is the Nine of Cups is the likely outcome? Anyways, you have a wish fulfillment. There is a wish coming true. Nine of Cups. What is the Nine of Cups? What is the Nine of Cups? The High Priestess, you're trusting your intuition, you're trusting your gut feeling. And your trust and intuition is telling you that your wish is coming in. What is the High Priestess? You probably chose to give this person the silent treatment. And you chose to keep uh, things to yourself. The High Priestess, right? She is the, she's the secret keeper, right? So I think you knew what was going on. You trusted your gut and you knew that this person was coming in. You knew that they were going to come back, right? You were just probably waiting for this person to make the right move towards you. Or you were just giving them time to come in towards you. What is the High Priestess? Yeah. And they're coming in with the King of Swords here. There is someone here who's coming in with the King of Swords. This person is watching you from a distance. But they're not saying anything. Okay, they're constantly keeping tabs upon you. You could be keeping tabs on them. But yeah, you have clarity coming in. And you, you know about it. I'm getting you already know about it. You know that your wish is coming true. Okay. It's like this. Um, I mean, you're a water sign, right? So yeah, your intuition is always on point. And there's someone here who's coming in to clear the air. They're coming in to have clear communication. And they're going to tell you. They'll tell you what, they, what you want to hear. Whatever it is, right? It's going to make you very, very happy, Cancer. So yeah, I'm loving it. All right, Cancer, I hope this reading resonates with you. Do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.